Wib Wobbers, Robert here. Welcome to the Poonie Report, Dark Watch Edition. Last week, Yokai Watch Poonie Poonie added a new event for the Dark Watch. As with all of the recent events, an event Gasha was added with a slew of old, some past exclusive, and new exclusive Yokai. For this event, three new Yokai were added that are themed with the Dark Watch Dark Jabanyan, Dark Koma, and Yamamiro. Dark Jabanyan is a popper with a heavy damage bonus to the event map boss. Dark Koma is a ball popper that receives a passive damage reduction in all Dark Watch sewer stages, with the exception of counterattacks from the map boss. Yamamiro is a damage reducer with an insane 833 hit points that also passively reduces damage and counterattacks from the map boss. Additionally, there are two new yokai introduced with the Dark Gasha. Muramasa is a brave A-rank horizontal popper, and Manma Mira is a shady B-rank stunner. The big draw of the event, however, is the introduction of the Dark Yokai Watch. Similar to the other watches available in Puni, you will need to find a variety of parts and then pay to assemble the watch. Subsequently, you can use it on a variety of almost 100 yokai to give them a bonus of 15% to hit points, and also an attack boost to Dark Jabanyan and Dark Koma. Also, you can now get a last Shogun Yun plush. The event features three maps culminating in a boss with two hidden stages. Along the way, you'll meet the Messy Servant, a new yokai who appears on various stages. The first hidden stage features the new yokai Tetsuya and can be unlocked on stage 23 by finishing while popping less than 80 puni. The second hidden stage features the new yokai Derasu, and can be unlocked on stage 43 by doing 3000 damage with an eerie yokai outside of fever time. Additionally, there are two rare appearance yokai. Tamiboshi, who appears on a variety of stages, and Nefarious, who appears in the sewer stages. Speaking of which, defeating the boss on map 3 will open up a fourth sewer map with much tougher stages and a much tougher version of the boss. All sewer stages are tri-blocked, similar to score attack. The sewer is where all of the parts of the Dark Watch can be found. To build the watch, you'll need The Black Light, which you get for defeating Guts K on the first stage of the sewer. 25 Dark Shards, which are randomly dropped from Yokai on all sewer stages, with more likelihood the harder the stage. 10 Dark Microchips, which are only dropped by the two rare appearance Yokai. One Dark Watch Band, which you get for completing at least 9 of 15 sewer trials which appear in the event missions. Finally, the Watch Body, which you get when you first beat the sewer form of the boss. If you watched my previous Puni reports on Ohajiki and Hinamatsuri, then you'll sense a pattern here. In order to beat the boss, you're going to need to use only specific tribes, you cannot continue, the boss has around 60,000 hit points, any counterattacks with big damage anytime you attack. Unlike those previous events, however, you cannot befriend him. The great news is that Dark Jabanyan does a ton of damage to him, so that's your real means of winning unless you already have a formidable team. Once you've got all the pieces, you can assemble the watch and equip it in order to get your bonuses. There are two other interesting pieces of information about the event. First, because Dark Jabanyan gets a huge bonus toward the boss, this counts even for the map 3 boss who is much easier to beat. As such, why money farming is really great so long as the event lasts if you have the right team. Second, Dark Jabanyan and Dark Koma have a unique ability, you can link them together. While Dark Koma isn't that special, being able to link them together is pretty cool and should help with missions and other activities even after the event. Breaking news! Just this morning, they added the Dark Watch himself to the event Gasha. This is the SS boss we had to fight in order to get the watch body. 
He's a super powerful single target direct attacker for the Eerie Tribe. There's also something about his ultimate I haven't quite figured out yet, but it seems like it might draw power from other Eerie Yokai in your party. Either way, he's a super cool addition, and I'll have to research him a little more before I can tell you all about him. If you liked the video, please leave a comment and subscribe both on YouTube and Twitter. Good luck with the Gasha.